Thanks for calling Domino's. Our featured special is two large one topping pizzas. If it ain't hand tossed, I don't want it today. Then name all our pizzas are hand made, sir. Oh, okay. Now on to location number two. Thanks for calling your locally owned and operated Papa John's Pizza. You're welcome. Jesus, she just woke up to the best ever. Add one to your order today. A team member will be with you shortly. Thanks. I actually had a quick question. Do you guys offer handmade pizzas? Uh, you got me confused, bro. Uh, like, we do hand top pizza. You want to try some handmade pizzas? Why are you sitting over there of all places? God damn, my carpet is so dirty. At www.chuckycheese.com. We had to get a Chuck E. Cheese pizza. You know we had to. Including organizations, press 1. For fundraising information, press 2. To confirm, change, or cancel an existing reservation, press 3. You may press pound at any time to skip this message. Chuck E. Cheese's is... Bruh, I hate when the operating machine goes on for freaking six hours. We are located next to Bally's Total Fitness. Bro. Oh. To properly direct your call, please listen to all options before making your selection. Oh my god. With reservations or any questions you may have. Yeah. I have one important question. Do you guys recycle your pizzas, ma'am? To confirm, change, or cancel an existing reservation. Bro, about now I know why Shane Dawson made the damn video about you guys. It wasn't nothing hard feelings about the pizza. He was probably just pissed about the damn Three. operator. To repeat this menu. I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. For more information about fundraising. To book a birthday party, press 3. Alright, I'm booking a birthday party, I guess. Don't forget, for information about our birthday party package, press 1. For information Bro, about oh my... Six and a half hours later. So... After being on the phone with Chuck E. Cheese for like a decade and ordering a pepperoni pizza, I go pick it up. Yo, Chuck E. Cheese, you know, I appreciate the pizza. I love cheese pizza. But the whole point of this conspiracy is to see if the pepperoni... Ah! Bro! I was on the phone for so long. Finally got to speak to an operator. Ordered a pepperoni pizza. And they give me this. This is, this is not going to work for the conspiracy. Although I do see that this slice is kind of shorter than the other ones. But either way, we need, we need a topping to see if the pepperonis match up. So now I got to go back to Chuck E. Cheese and get a freaking... Ah! Now I know why Shane Dawson exposed y'all ass. It's not because of the pizza. It's because of your customer service. But it's all good because now I get to enjoy a cheese pizza. Mmm, yo, I will say one thing, scamming kids or not, recycling pizzas or not, handmade, hand tossed, hand, whatever the hell, whatever, this pizza is bomb, I will say that. Mmm, the slice of pizza I just ate may have been recycled, you know, it may have been touched by kids who have been sick and have germs and are touching all these tokens and I don't care. God, that pizza was so good. Well. Shane Dawson has his conspiracy theories. It's time for a bro what is conspiracy theory now. I don't know if you guys are ready. Sit down, grab your popcorn, cue the, you know, frightening music in the background. It's time for a bro what is conspiracy theory. Chuck E. Cheese did not accidentally mess up on the pepperoni pizza and give me cheese. No, no. Bro what is conspiracy theory. Chuck E. Cheese knows what's going around YouTube. They know what's going around the internet after Shane Dawson's video. They know people are trying to test out the pepperoni pizza theory. So they gave me a cheese on purpose because they knew I was trying to make a video. They knew it. That's my conspiracy. And um, debate your mama. Ready, set, go. Booker is trying to take you down. Booker, the wrestling match hasn't even started, bro. Jackie, um, I will give you a 1 out of 10 for being John Cena. Okay, fine. 3 out of 10. 3 out of 10. You do it. You do it. Let me see. Well, first of all, let me ask you. Can you see me right now? Oh, no, I can see you. You can see me? Yeah. Well, then I'm not John Cena because you can't see John Cena. <laughs> Jackie, should I just expose myself and show my tripod? <laughs> Yeah, it's so for a 3.2 million subscribed YouTuber, 
Here's my tripod. <laughs> of a US post office box, candles, paper towel that's falling apart, and a red cup. That is my tripod. Woo! Booker, get your head down from the pizzas. All right, guys, so Jackie is here. Whoa, hold on, hold on. Why is this chair making me look so short? Because I'm <laughs> sitting over oh. like... No, you sit down. No, why do you want to be taller than me? Okay, guys, this is how tall Jackie is. <laughs> no, but in all seriousness, so um, the reason Jackie is here making it... No, I'm just joking. So, it's usually hard for me to... No, okay, now I'm <laughs> sitting normal. Now you can go down. No, now you can start... not sitting normal. Oh, yeah, you, you are. Three. Now you're just trying to start problems. So... Um, usually it's hard for me to get Jackie over to make a video, uh, yes. but today all I had to say was there's food. There's food. That's all the four letters F O O D. That's all I had to say, and Jackie was here with a with a quickness. Okay, Jackie, thank you for joining me for this video. I'm sure you've heard of the conspiracy theory. Yes. Shane Dawson, Chuck E. Cheese. It's of going course. all viral right now. Shout um, out Shane Dawson, we love you. So for everybody who doesn't know what we're talking about. Shane Dawson made a conspiracy theory video. It was an hour and 45 minutes long. I, like, yo, I, I'm a fan of Shane Dawson. I think he made great content. But if I'm sitting and watching something for an hour and 45 minutes, it's going to be a basketball game. Shane Dawson pretty much made a video where he... <laughs> where he showed that Chuck E. Cheese pizza, at least his conspiracy was, that they recycle their pizzas. He claims when people order a Chuck E. Cheese pizza, if they don't finish all the slices, Chuck E. Cheese takes the leftover slices and they add it onto other pizzas. So instead of throwing away those nasty leftovers, they keep them and then when somebody else orders a new pizza, instead of making a whole fresh new pizza, they piece together the leftovers. So me and Jackie decided, why not test out this theory and see if this is true or not. Um, I will put a disclaimer though. I feel like after Shane Dawson made that video, Chuck E. Cheese is more alert. They're more aware that people are trying to see if this is true. So I feel like now Chuck E. Cheese makes fresh pizzas. That's my opinion. I don't think after the Shane Dawson theory, they would still risk doing their leftover. You, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. or, or what do you think? I think the whole thing is so wild. So yeah, that, that's my theory. Whether it was true or not in the past, I don't think right now. I don't think there's any way that they would still be doing it after how viral Shane Dawson's video went. So, me and Jackie decided to do something different. We got our Chuck E. Cheese pizza right here, but we also, well, okay, backstory. When Chuck E. Cheese kind of got exposed for why their pepperonis and their pizza slices don't match up, their excuse instead of oh we use leftover pizza their excuse was well we hand toss we hand make every single pizza and since it's handmade right here it doesn't always match up because we're making it fresh with our own hands so you know what i mean so they're saying it yeah they're not perfect uh -huh. but it's so fresh that they make some mistakes you know it's handmade right in the back so that was what they were pinning it on so what me and jackie decided to do we got a handmade Chuck E. Cheese pizza and we also a handmade Domino's pizza. If you're wondering why there's two, that's because um, I got a ham and pineapple one that this is not for the use of this video. That's for me to eat later. Jackie, if you want some, you can have some. Oh, if you don't like pineapple on a pizza, I don't trust you. I don't trust you. Pineapple does go on pizza. Okay guys, so. Reveal it, reveal it. Um, it. It's sausage. <laughs> You know, I've never missed one of these in my life. Told you. We got this. Wait, imagine I open this and it's cheese. That would be my fault for not checking it there. But. Holy sh Bro, look. <laughs> what? At least put some effort into putting the damn pizza together. Wait, hold on. Oh my god, hold on, hold on, hold on. Put it together. Look at this. Look at this. <gasps> what? Hold on, no. These right here don't. No. What? Bro, I, hold on Jackie, are we sure we're like not, wait bro, okay, because th that one matches, that one yeah, matches. This, is piece. this definitely does not. The, is, I mean, like, these kind of do look. Yeah, those do, those yeah. do. But that's that's what Shane was saying, that he feels like they take pieces from other pizzas 
and then they add cheese or they add pepperoni. Yeah. I I literally just got done saying, you know, whether Chuck E. Cheese used to do that or not, that was in the past. There's no way that they would still be doing it after Shane Dawson's video. And I come to see, yo, okay, look, look at this. So like where, okay, I mean, I guess there's a little bit of pepperoni on no, that it, side. It, what doesn't make sense is that if the pizza is supposed to be together, why do the pizzas not match? Yeah, see, okay, so How that's- the dough going inside and some yes. and not the other? Okay, so Chuck E. Cheese said that the reason for that is because their pizza is handmade. So the person who's hand tossing it can't be perfect. So they're trying to prove, you know, it's so fresh and it's handmade that the person making it doesn't get all the edges perfect. So you see how this one is like longer and stuff. So that's why we ordered another handmade one from Domino's and I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but all the pieces seem to be even. Um, do the pepperonis match up? I mean, there's half of one here and the other half is not there. What do you think, Judge? Booker, what do you think about all this? So see what I mean? So this pepperoni ends here on one slice and it, it like completes a circle there. But then you have some of the Chuck E. Cheese ones that just don't, they don't complete the circle. Like see this one, I don't know. Well, not only that, but The look, slices, look, right? Look the pizza yeah, let's put it perfectly together. Let's see. There's still, there's still some smaller and some bigger. I don't know. I just don't know, Jackie. Oh, Jackie's about to dive in. Yeah. <laughs> she's she's trying to eat this. I don't know. It's weird. Bro, that is ridiculous. I never, like, no, you know, right now we're I, saying the slices are not even. How, even if you're tossing around the pizza, how would these two sides specifically both come out bad? Yeah, and then this one is also hand tossed. And these all look even. Either Domino's has a Devin Booker hand tossing, and you know, this this pizza has like a Brandon Nye and Alex Len. I'm gonna eat it anyway, you know, it's good to try. <laughs> well, yeah. I just wanna see if it's Here, poison. Let, Jackie, let's taste if the conspiracy theory is true, yeah? I think we have to take another bite. We can't come to a conclusion yet, right? Mmm. Gotta be honest, I don't know whose piece this is, but it tastes real good. I swear, Jackie, that's what I said earlier in the video. Sometimes I think with my tongue instead of my brain. So like, my taste buds win over my smarts. And right now my taste buds are winning. This could be some kid who has a damn flu and I'm still eating it. Mm-hmm. Yo, I'm not gonna lie, like, it's, good. it's very good. This one, it looks a lot better than the Domino's one. The Domino's one might be made fresh, but God, that, ah, oh, that looks dry. This one. So much oil. No. Hey, Jackie. <laughs> what do you think? Thanks for joining me for lunch today. <laughs> <laughs> we got two things knocked out. Lunch. We got a video done. Dinner. I'm gonna take one. Wait, we didn't take a thumbnail, and we're eating it. All right. Well, if Chuck E. Cheese can piece the pizza together and sell it to people, <laughs> I'm sure we could piece it together for a thumbnail. Wait. Jackie, you want a uh, paper towel? Shoes. Yeah. No, Chuck E. Cheese is not gonna sue us. I said it tastes good, okay? Also, we said it's not fat. Man, we can't make that the thumbnail for real, people. Right nah, here. Freddy, my thumbnail guy, I trust him so much. He could put pizza over there. Freddy, I trust you, bro. You guys, I'm sad now because that tasted really good. And now I can't eat it anymore for thumbnail reasons. All right, guys, so in conclusion, I'm gonna say what I think and then I'll let Jackie take over. The pepperoni circles, there are definitely some that don't match up and some that do which is weird because, you know, if you're making a full pizza, all pepperonis are circles, so they should all match up. But that's not what I'm worried about most. Well, my thing is, is that some of these slices are shorter, some of them are longer. It doesn't make to a complete circle. And that's how pizzas are supposed to be, like this one. Um, I'm just in complete shock because, well, first of all, like we said, this is not facts. This is not 100% true. This is just all conspiracy. So what, what the shocking thing to me is like, with the whole conspiracy going on and everybody going to Chuck E. Cheese to try these pizzas, I would figure that Chuck E. Cheese would, especially during this time that everybody's going there and making videos, I would figure that they would try their best to make a complete full circle pizza and make all the pepperonis match up just to kind of, you know, save face right now. But the fact that we got this and it came like this is just, it's shocking to me. Um, Shane Dawson conspiracy theory video is 
I guess a little accurate, a little more accurate than I thought it would be. Jackie, take it away. Is this um, CNN breaking news? CNN breaking, breaking, breaking news. news. Today we have a Chuck E. Cheese pizza conspiracy theory. That take it away, Lisa. Ew. Oh wait, that take is. it away, Trisha Takanawa. Do you know who that is? No. From Family Guy. <laughs> Wait, who? I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, um, I'm gonna be honest. The pizza tastes good. Uh, it is super weird that they don't match. Like, I just think it's weird to say that. Okay, I get not every pizza is gonna be the same, but why are some sides no. this way? Guys, he wants a piece. Booker. Weird about it. Like, Booker, stop being a snake. I don't want you popping up out of nowhere like you're a damn king cobra. Okay, you can't be doing that. This is a table. We eat food here and you don't eat here. You eat over there. So when I'm eating here, you can't come here and you especially can't stick your... I know, don't talk back. You can't stick your head up over the table. No, you, you just can't do that, okay? Hey. We interrupt this program with a crazy dog who does not listen. We tested we finished, it. Yeah. We, we finished. We tested it right in front of you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please drop a like if you did. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Jackie, thanks for helping me with this. You're welcome. And guys, let me know what you think in the comment section down below because this is just, it's blowing it's my crazy. mind. It's crazy. It's weird. Nah, just the fact, the fact that it's still coming like this, even after the whole conspiracy, I would imagine that they would do everything in their power to not make it end up like this. Either way, guys. Drop a like on this video if you enjoyed. Subscribe to this channel if you're new. Brandon, aka Bawadis, I am out. I love you guys all. Bye, guys. Hey, am I Spider Man? Peace. How embarrassing. Yeah, I can never ever find the right words. And there's no way this is real life. There's no telling you're the right girl. So I can only say that it feels right. It feels